Okay, guys, you know, say, eh, we are not say Ghana. Eh. If we talk about Ghana, you will be like, say, maybe we don't know we will be Nigerians. You will be like, say, maybe we will laugh for their head. If we they talk what they their country, they be like, say, they beat them like, say, we they laugh for their head. You they guess who? Make a clear on that. Now, remember last time when I tell you, I say, Ghana will turn no good. Some of them come come my inbox, they DM me saying which area you did, which area you did. See, when I come Ghana for the very first time, I did stay at Abu Junction for Kwabenyana. There I stay. From Abu Junction, I go to Abuba. I don't stay so many places for Ghana. I don't stay Kaswa. I don't stay Kaswa. I don't stay. I don't go northern region. Why? I don't stay there. I don't stay so many places for for Ghana here. Yeah, Show you the guess so. See the reason why I got to know this here, when I did Nigeria, if I go to Nigeria now, my body go clear, but if I come back to Ghana, I did do this thing without no filter now. Make one of This is my real face. Just watch us on the one show. See my body, you see this place. You see? You see him? Ghana will tell you this. Now they see. They see my body, you see. And they will tell you this here. Down to all this place, you see all these things over this so and they will tell you. Me say me I be fair person. Any smooth in the react. You see on my body, on my back. See my face. You see how? See. See the way my face be here. I will tell you, this crush you. Will this crush you any anyhow? We try to do this. If I'm not I go boil the water. Get one drug when I bear. One medicine, one tablet like that. Very white tablet. I go put inside the water. I go put the toy. I go put salt. Still boil the water. Use and take go bath. If a bath finish, I can carry extra pure water, normal pure water. Take wash my face. Now the girls, oh, here they see the way my body be. Now me, they happen to not be another person, oh. Me not go be like a person talk. You the girls, oh. These people, eh? If you tell them what they did in their country, they go divest. I don't want to divest me for them. They go make you the feel as if their country now even on earth, everything is clear, everything is good here, everything is this one here. They know they want believe say. This thing no good for our country, make we accept. I don't know if you know the gate. That's the reason why I say make I do this video like this morning for this year. So my body, see this one. So now they pin me that I say tomorrow no dinner. So this one, and so all you see all of them, so I say with this swell of the see. I don't buy drug, I don't tire. Don't buy medicine, I don't tire. See my face, you see. You see so see I don't tell you see. Tell me see. If you be gay, guess who did this gun here? They will feel confirmed. If you be Nigerian, go this gun here. So you feel told truth and confirm. If they do, they, they happen to their country people. You happen to their country people, they are all time. You see, they are laughing. They are not go play. But they don't want to tell you the truth. They will hide them. They let you they know, say, yes, yeah, see, nah, see, Ghana not just everything. Now, nah, Ghana not here, heaven for, not nah, here, heaven day. Which is not like that. See, you see, you push, you go and walk on your water. Tell my government and walk around those crash crash when there's crash crash for road. When there's crash crash for road, you just see girl like this for set off. You just pull one from middle of the nash, this crash crash crash. I saw the TV this weekend. The thing say this thing. Not be all of them be fresh on this water. And they are water they cause them. But they know they admit they will leave elephant for ground. They use hand, they fire rat. The sian, see my body, the sian, sian. Now me, they happen to show you the sian. Don't buy medicine, I don't tire. Sian. So my boss, so this crash, both hand everywhere. So, you no know, beside the person, beside the take care of my body, any, any, like this. You know. Guys, I beg, I don't want to talk about this people too much. Maybe as a person, they talk too much. But I also give them some instant money to see. Peace out, guys. One love. You see this guy? Then go arrest him. Ask me why. You enter Ghana with NIN. Nigeria NIN, not even passport. NIN. Now you insult the whole Ghana and you are proud, you insult them. Okay. I don't go talk too much. You watch this video, right? Now you use the mouth talk. Just use watch this video. That means if na NIN you think enter Ghana and you are still in Ghana and you are living for Ghana many more, many years then, then they will arrest you. Because anybody that carry NIN to Ghana is supposed to, only how many days you supposed to live in Ghana? Supposed to be five days or one week.
But you, you are in Ghana for many years with NIN, but you still get the audacity to come out and insult Ghanaians. We can listen to her. It pays for Ghana. I don't believe that it happened on Wednesday here at the immigration office. I just did so. They just go and knock my door. Say somebody they find us as I come outside nothing. They say, how do I come to the country? I enter, I enter Ghana. I tell them, say, I enter through a pass border. They say, wait till I enter Ghana. Now I say, enter with my Nigeria NIN. I carry and bring a come out. I show them. Say, see them. They say, me, they see them. They see them. They hold them. They say, me, can wear shit. So they carry all of us with inside the room. Come out. If they get so. They can't go pack other people to pack all of us before inside the bus. Carry come out. Go their immigration office. We reach there. They put us on one place for the name the video where they play for yes one. I mean record this video. You see also the MPD video where they put where I put for yes one. I wanna see you. So I'm gonna do the immigration office for Ghana here. So they start to collect money. They say all the whole boys. Boys, hundred thousand. White girls, fifty thousand. For no reason, no. For no reason. This one adjust their work for no reason. The science for no reason. As we got a day out, that's why I take pay for everybody who will take out a day. I come to the fire money around that joint when I get more for come outside. They get so God so great for not 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 do. We can't come outside. We the science. Now what do we face so? This is the reason why even if the tosses on camp thing not they happen for Nigeria. This is the reason why eh, I still they miss General Sani Abasha. This man where they eh. when Abasha do Nigeria. They no born any African. We hope that motherfucking African person when you say you go detain one Nigeria for your country. You want that. You want that. You want that. They no born that. They no born that person. Where? Go check the history of General Sani Abasha. Go and check. Or come down to Olusegun Obasanjo. Obasanjo, this man. So when Obasanjo be president of Nigeria, this is not the reason we make me like all these people. Who you be when you go treat one Nigeria anyhow? See, unless you want go down two seconds. If you want peace, Nigeria will give you peace. If you want war, Nigeria will give you war. You understand, so? They say Nigeria is no good. Nigeria is bad. Now we bad pass. Now we be evil. Now we be doing something. But now we they give them money pass. For Ghana, yeah. Chinese people, they Ghana. Liberia people, for Ghana. Even say they will get Liberian car for Kaswa. Near redeem at the Winners Church. For Kaswa. I never see their arrest. We did that place. They don't bring any. They never carry any other people come. Except Nigerians. Why? They want to extract money from them because they know say Nigerian youth are rich. Nigerian youth to get money, no matter any way it be. Other countries, Benin, people fool this country. Togo, they fool this country. Africa, Coast, they fool Ghana. They know they arrest them. Only Nigerian, they go back. Only house with Nigeria, they, the other one where they ever carry concert, they go down and they sleep. Person where they sleep, where they go bust the door. The man gets a driving license for a car. He carry a follow us. He gets a driving license of a car. He shop permits, shop. The guy gets shop for Ghana. He shop permit. Everything they correct. He papers they correct. He national passport. International passport to the travel. They correct. They stamp and everything. But they still detain us. They come money. Come. They see they find one way or that to pay extract money because they just say, I said, the guy is soft. He dropped a tattoo from here. He a tattoo from here. Carry dread. Put his soft here for here. They break the guy down. Enter where he sleep. Just like that. They see with the person they face for African country. When they see him, Africa because all of them they don't manipulate, they don't make them hate Nigerians. Eh? Mumu, all of them are doing. We are not no saying we are supposed to respect Nigerians. Say the day when Nigeria I go open, the day when Nigeria stand, that day you people will be free for slavery. That is why the white people don't want to make them get that mentality. Say eh? Nigerians are great people. Nigerians are white people. They they manipulate them against Nigerians and you people, stupid people, will not follow. Come on, and you will see confused Ghanaians. They talk nonsense about Nigeria. Other confused African countries where they were busy because they're not saying these white people they are very brilliant. They know so the people who will stand challenge them and Nigerians. They want first silent Nigerians and the rest of them will be breeze. They go blow now like this. So they blow powder come off your hand. That's all not be. No, no, they would shame. No, no, for they think. No, no, for the reason say, ah, these people where they molest. These people are great people. No, could join these people fight, make Africa stand. No, 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 go do one. Even for your own country, some of them are slave for our own country. Not be slave for our own country. No, no, for now one one. Now they talk any about Nigeria. So you know they see what they do to us for country. Now they see them with the suffer up and down for country. Then they put that impression to now say Nigerians are scammers. Nigerians are this one. Then you, you, you foolish, foolish set of African people. The rest countries, when I went all get sense, all of them join them. They call your own brothers. 
why the whites don't scam all of them. Even you now say for your country, you they buy oil. Most of them when I get oil for our family house, but they don't push on come off for the land, collect everything for our hand. Now my family no fit talk when I can't they rent for city. It's supposed to they happen that they start on oil, they go to give black. They come out many things from our country, they go to give black. But you do your country, they suffer. You they call your brother scammer. You they call your fellow African man scammer. African man go enter your country, especially Nigerians. Now go they treat them anyhow. More now well done. Well done, you people are doing great. One day, eh, when I go clear. And that day, now when I go no say, eh, Nigeria is the giant of Africa. It they come. When I know that particular day, when I wait, it they come. Very, very soon, it they come. The way the white go take attack Africa, eh? you go clear for an eye very soon. You go tell an FM. They are gonna know whether you as a Ghana man, whether you are excluded from Africa, I go know. Whether you as a Kenya man, whether you are excluded from Africa, I go know. Mona no worry. Whether you Cameruna, whether you are excluded from Africa, that time I go know. The way they go take invade Africa, eh? you go deal on a life. That time eh? now God will save all of us. See? The remaining one of us will remain. Eh? If we feel get that opportunity we will get now, eh? that time we go one use and way. But I pray that it's not too late. Since we are not guessing, since we are the fool. We are continuing, we are the misbehave. Anywhere where Nigeria go, they go let us know that Nigerians are evil. Nigerians are bad people, Nigerians are wicked. We never ever sit down and think, say, what do you make these people unique? What do they talk about them? What do you make these people? People don't like them. What do you make these people? They don't talk about them. Because they know, say, if they feel subdued Nigeria, the rest of them will be priests. See, if they come in our country, they will sweep them like ants, a bunch of ants where they gather. They will sweep all of them and come out. No, no get sense. Only to just come online the type of the full set of people. Get out, useless people. When I go there, sometimes I would even regret to be Africa safe because most of you don't have sense. The earlier, the better you people start to respect Nigerians. Eh? And you people unite with Nigerians, the better for me and you. For tomorrow, for tomorrow purpose and for the future purpose. If not, eh, it will clear for a while very soon. We do a that time, you go clear for everybody. I'll get me on of Nanya. That I will not say Nigeria, eh? Not be, not be. You see that name, Giant of Africa, eh? Not be we give unto ourselves. Now, something we do this year is the title. Yes, it's the title where they give Nigeria. Nigeria, not you wake up one day saying that they be the giant. No, now something we do this year. And that thing will come when I will still understand that. Peace out, guys. More than the food and shower. Go la body, me. You see, just as nice days when I go la body. You see, if you reach La Badi, eh? that entrance, pass that entrance, enter. You see that beach side? All those girls with the wear short shorts, this thing. Short short skates. They go carry handbag, like I said, they follow the person come. Go, all of them are not Ghanians. All of them be. Go La Badi, me, you see. Go Pukwasi. Go Amasama. Go Madina. Konko Abenya. Go Spintes. Me, you see your people. Go Kaswa. Area code and the rest. Me, you see your people food there. Ghanians. Ashawo. Kevet, people with the depart people with the deport, with the departure for Kevet, which day for year. Not be this thing. Who wouldn't be? Ghanaians. Who they do prostitution to survive. Come to think of it, you say Nigerians they use how many mangi you call they cook. And especially like you know, if they ask you, you, know, you never even cross border before. You never even know where how Afla will border safe. Your own country, you don't even know how Afla, Afla, Afla will border look like. Let the say you want pass and say you they go Nigeria. That one just felt disqualify you for because when you hear a stupid person talk, not the person will tell you. When you hear an educated Ghanaian talk, not the person will tell you. If you see an educated Ghanaian eh, saying, then they accept the fact. They go one learn from you. I get one like that. That one they always send me something for impulse. You know what that guy they do? I love that guy. You know what the guy they do? You want to know more why this thing be like this for Nigeria? Why this thing? That guy eh, is supposed to be, you're supposed to give that guy one post for Ghana. I don't really understand. I so much love that guy. The guy, they send me things. He go send me things. He want to know why, how come, why this thing be like this, why this things they happen like this. Now that pe those kind of people, they be educated Ghanaians. But you see the foolish one, eh? my brother. They they fool papa. They they fool gorish. We life for end. If you see the stupid ones, eh? you will hate. You will hate to even mingle with them. You see him? This. I hope you're listening to the guy again. I talk to the guy. And they go arrest him. You, if you will just say, okay. Now we should listen to the audio voice for replying to the guy. What people are replying to, listening to it. I'm coming in. Mr. Manager, Niger News. How are you? Uh, I'm doing this audio from US. I just watching your video this this evening.
that guy he put nose marks insulting ghana and ghana people look let me tell you this guy is so lucky i know he's in ghana and i'm gonna send his video this video i'm gonna send to ghana immigration police officers in ghana look all this uh younger which this guy they play on youtube showing that he's tough if he's in america here and he's insulting america or insulting the american people the next morning you're gonna see uh, these people uh, fbi knocking your door how you gonna they're gonna come take you so i don't know what is you know what is wrong with ghana police and ghana immigration this guy get mouth stay staying in ghana sitting in his room enjoying the electricity in ghana and insulting ghana and ghana people wow so what ghana police and immigration doing this guy don't have any paper any resident permit or working permit staying in ghana and insulting ghana and ghana people now why i don't understand how ghana immigration and police people i don't know how they're treating this type of people in ghana there look let me tell you i'm assure you i'm gonna send this video to some police officers in ghana and also immigration as henceforth as because of what this guy did we're gonna open our eyes nigerians living in ghana anybody living there without resident permit or working permit living in ghana we will have time for you guys nowadays we will fish them out especially this guy i see his face i recognize his face anywhere i see him we're gonna fish these people out all this thing they are doing in ghana bad 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 things i don't think this guy get a, a good job even a good job in doing in ghana there i know he's doing yahoo 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 he's doing the computers coming or kidnapping he's doing there this guy is not important to ghana anyway he's not important to me but because of this nonsense he's playing in ghana there i wish the police or immigration officer go get this guy and throw him out nowadays we open our eyes and you know and look at this such people what they are hating ghana and they are living in ghana enjoying ghana everything what ghana have they are enjoying their health insurance everything and they are there they know even appreciate what they are benefit from ghana rather they're insulting ghana and ghana people you would get time for for these people from henceforth anybody come on youtube insulting ghana and living in ghana there and insulting ghana whatever they like anytime i get that video or video i will make i'll forward it to migration and police officers in ghana now you're gonna have time for these people anyway thank you hello mr niger good good evening i hope you are fine i was watching one of your <coughs> one of your this thing uh, you download one of your program on the youtube he has one boy talking about ghana please educate your people where that boy who was talking who was talking i was watching him he put marks uh, face marks on his mouth if he say he's a man you should remove that face tell him to remove that face man and he come real with his face, shouldn't disguise himself if he's talking. Let him unmask his this thing. And if he say he's a man, he should unmask that mask. And we'll show him where the power lies. He's a very stupid guy. Tell him, say he should he should if he's a man, he should remove his this thing because he don't know, he don't have sense. Tell him send the video send the record to him send this video this thing i'm uh, read uh, this message send it to him say we say he's a very stupid guy he don't know anything he should think of himself so nigerians are good but the few are the good and the many are bad and they don't know they don't know their left and right they just wake up I pity the woman, the wom the family who give them, who give birth to them. I pity them because they don't know what they are in. This time around, we just wake up insulting somebody country. What's your mind? This thing they are in everywhere, right now everywhere. The world is hate you people.
if you don't know, if you have to think of this, why the world is setting us, you should think. They should think. Why the world is hating you people, they should think. And they should stop that their stupidness. I pity the woman, the family who born, who give birth to them. See, foolish guy, who he don't even say, if you go toilet, he don't know how to clean his toilet. He don't know how to clean his nurse. Stupid guy. Send this audio to him. Hello, Mr. Naja. Good evening. I pray that you are doing well. Thank you very much. Mr. Naja, I want you to pass on this message to that Nigerian gentleman who lives in Ghana, who is insulting us because one of our Ghanaian brother have said that it is the Nigerians that has brought crime to Ghana and he doesn't understand. But if that, that man is a man who thinks he's a man, he has the audacity to tell us Ghanaians what he thinks. Why is he covering his face? Why is he not removing that mask? and speak boldly as a man. We Ghanaians cannot do the things that the Nigerians are doing in Ghana. We cannot do them those things in Nigeria. If he is a man, he should remove the mask and speak. And speak. Or if he thinks that what our brother has said is wrong, he should go back to his country. I used to live in Nigeria. I used to live in Agengule. How many times the Nigerians will say, Oh, Shigana, Mogana, when are you going back to your country? Without even saying a word, they will insult you. He should go back to his country. He should go back to that Imo land. Because all the crimes that is going on in Ghana is from those, those greedy Ibos. They are so greedy that they will do anything for money. He should go back to his country. We are begging him, he should go back to his country. We don't want him in Ghana. Why don't he stay in Nigeria? Mr. Niger, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Mr. Manager, good evening. Uh, I saw this video. God help you. God bless you. I uh, saw so, uh, the Nigerians, they should understand, they should know that Ghanaians are not sitting down idly. We are not just sitting down or like we don't see what is going on. 80% of them are not needed in Ghana. And we shall make sure they are deported back, whether they like it or not. The only thing that has delayed all these plan, plans is that most of us organizing that petition, we have done it already to Parliament House. But well, we need to be there, you know, personally and be in the Ghanaian public, do press conferences, talk about them, talk about these issues. All their nonsense, all their crimes, how they are destroying the country. And Ghanaians will support that because when you go to Facebook, most people, it's just like the way people are talking. But they need people to lead, you see what I mean? And we are in abroad. Those at home, like, you know, everybody is thinking of what they will do, eat their money, I mean, it's, life is hard. They don't see the nonsense news too much, or it's like they don't care. But we those in abroad, we know what is going on because we are seeing everything, Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube, like your, your your channel and all those things. Nigerians are not going to be in Ghana at all. They shouldn't think we are we keeping quiet because of ECOWAS. ECOWAS is not going to stay. It's already not there because how many countries has, uh, have left ECOWAS? Look at Mali. Um, Burkina Faso and what? Is it Guinea or uh, Niger? Not only that, there are many things that show that uh, ECOWAS is not legal, it's not working, it's not, it's not lawful. Who voted for ECOWAS? So those Nigerians sitting there with their nonsense, they, they, they shouldn't think Ghana is their country. We are the citizens. We are Ghanaians. We are not from anywhere. We are from, we are Ghanaians. Our mothers and our fathers are Ghanaians. And so when we come together and we are saying something, there's nothing that the government is not going to take. And this government in power, the government is going in by December, it's not there. 
by the end of December, Kufa won't be there. And so we are coming to let the public know. And already they know them. All the crimes, all the stupidity, all the killings, all the armed robbery, all the ritual killings, everything. So Nigerians are not going to stay in Ghana. Only few who are genuine are going to stay. Already most of them staying, that's why they was they are supposed to be staying there legally. But most of them are not legal, legally staying. So they shouldn't think that Ghanaians have kept quiet or because we want peace. No. Most of us are very annoying. We are we are dying. We can't even sleep. But you know, we can't force ourselves to be in the country because we have we haven't prepared ourselves. We have to wait. We have to wait. We're not going to stay with Nigerians and this kind of nonsense, arrogance, stupidness, crimes, evil doings. No, no. I'm a Ghanaian. I'm talking from what Ghan most Ghanaians are thinking. I know, I know what we are saying. I know what we are thinking about. This evil Nigerians, arrogant, ne empty Nigerians. They will go back home. They will go. So, <laughs> I mean, you see, you will see what is going to happen. Because all these things we are saying on the uh, Facebook, it is going to be in Ghanaian media, Ghanaian televisions, Ghanaian newspapers, everywhere. And people know what they are doing. So what, what is the government going to do? We organize ourselves. We are not going to vote for the government if they don't send these people back. We are not going to vote for the government if the so-called equals, if we don't have a referendum for Ghanaians to decide. Because they can't, it's a democracy, okay? In Europe, the European movement, the European integration, so-called European integration, people going here before even the United Kingdom left, they had to do a referendum. The citizens have to vote and see how many number other those who want to be members, those who want to stay in the group, equal us, other they are the, just like doing an election and, and electing a party or an um, MP or the same. And so that's what is going to happen. Nigeria should wait and see. We are coming. We are coming to take back our country. If this big country talking about nonsense that Ghana is small, Ghana is just all this shit, you can't even get one sensible people to be to be your leader. And you are scattered all over the world. And Ghana, you are about 15 million. You are still talking shit. I don't know how proud you are, apart from being criminals and ritual killers, armed robbers, talking nonsense, just belittling. So you have to belittle yourselves. You Nigerians, you have to be, because you don't have any brains. You don't have any credibility. You don't have any respect. Okay? We always tell you Ghana is a superior country. We have evidence everywhere to show you on the internet, on the YouTube. So if you can't even maintain your own country, you say you are a big country, but you can't, you can't fix the country, you can't do anything. It is empty for, it's big for nothing. And the people still don't have brains. The Ghanaians that have brains, and then you are coming to, to come and find some, some food to eat, you continue to respect them, commit crimes against them, kill their people for rituals. And you think this is going to stay? You wait and see. We are coming, and you see. You hear, you remember one day that somebody was saying it. It's not the first time I've said it. So we shall see. Thank you, Mr. Manager. God bless you always. Thank you. I'm assuring Nigerians in Ghana that take write down this date. Note this date down. Most of you are going to be deported. Nigeria must go. It's coming again. Because you should know, naturally, Ghanaians can't stay with Nigerians. If I say Ghanaians can't stay with Nigerians, I'm not saying zero. But all these people will stay everywhere. After all, uh, maybe the people in Nigeria, uh, Ghanaians in Nigeria, maybe they are not up to handle. What are they doing there? Nigeria, what are they doing there? Nigeria. After they kill you, hate you, kill you for ritual, what are they doing? It's not, maybe it's not up to 100 people. And you're over five, 15 million in Ghana with all this character, criminality, arrogance, disrespect, foolish talking, empty headed, but still don't respect your superiors. You will see, you write this day down. We, we, you will see. By this end, by end of next year, you will see what will happen. Any Nigerian who hears this message in Ghana, you write it down and we shall see. Look at this disgraceful criminal who doesn't know anything. Do you know history? Does your grandfather, your gra grandmother, your grandfather, do, do you don't know, know history? Do you, know, do you know how you became independent? Do you know how you became free? Do you know how your uh, Biafra war was stopped? Are your people not using Ghana passport? Are you not about 10 million, 15 million in Ghana? What a shame. Why can't you stay in your country? Stupid boy, you see what will happen to you in Ghana there? Useless boy, you know history. Have you learned history? Can you write your name? 
useless person, you see what will happen. Animal, you you are in Ghana talking that bullshit accent to, to, to human beings. Huh? You know why you are free now and committing crimes? Why don't you fix your country? Huh? Do you know history? Tell what you know about history. Ghanaians fought and won your independence for you. Find out. Ghanaians were the people who came in to intervene to stop your Biafra war. Find out. Ghanaians have scored you in African Cup 25 times to, to 12. Find out. Ghanaians are the people you are using their passport. Half of Nigerians are using Ghanaian passport. Ghanaians had United Nations Secretary General. Find out. Useless people. When you talk about entertainment, what does entertainment do in this world? Who, who, what does entertainment do? Does entertainment make you superior? Nonsense people. You have got 250 million. You can't even control your, you can't even fix your own country. You are scattered all over the place and the whole world, everybody knows Nigerians. You will see what is going to happen. You think Ghanaians are sitting down without doing anything about you? You will see what will happen, is going to happen. You will see what will happen to you. We shall jail you before we, we deport you. You stay there and see. If Ghana is for you, we shall see. Stupid animal. Fucking boy. Why can't you respect your, your, your superiors? You are calling yourself for a shame on you. This guy thinks that Nigerians are human beings. Ask me why the whole world has rejected Nigerians. Ask me why Nigerians can't use their passport. Tell me the whole world. This world tell me a country that accepts Nigerians. If not Ghana. Because sometimes we have weak leaders that they don't, they even know, they, 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 they don't have to be in office. Huh? And you're coming to touch nonsense. You don't, you don't, you're not feeling ashamed of yourself. Look at how inferior he is talking there. Look at his voice. And look at what he's saying. Huh? Tell me why we're in Ghana. If Ghana is not superior, tell me why you are not in, in your country or a different country. Nonsense. You are there committing crimes. You will see. We are going to fish you out and you see what will happen to you. You will see. We will see who is who in Ghana there. Nonsense boy, who useless. Look, what kind of human being is this? Are you even a human being? What kind of nonsense is that? Huh? Look, and all these people are in Ghana because of weak leaders. They are allowing criminals and ritualists and armed robbers to come to Ghana and talk nonsense. Before you realize it's killing people, you will see what will happen to you. You Nigerians need to understand, you need to understand 100% that the way things, you are seeing things now, it means that you can't stay in Ghana. It means that you can't stay in Ghana by the next one year, two years time. Because something is going to happen. And we, we shall get you out before you bring out your nonsense, lawlessness, lawlessness in your country. Come bring it to Ghana. You see, you should see that for all these things that have started on social media, means that you Nigerians are not going to be able to stay in Ghana. You will all be deported. That's what is going to happen. And you see how foolish you are. And see like, like that. You don't even have food. You can't get food to eat in Nigeria. And you are coming here to talk nonsense. Do you know history? Does your grandfather know history? If you know history, tell me the first, the year that Nigerians were deported first in Ghana. Tell me the very year that Nigerians were deported massively in Ghana. And tell me the second year, a year again, that Nigerians were deported, massive, massive deportations in Ghana. When did that take place? Tell me, when did the ritualists and Nigerian armed robbers, the first day, the year they were deported, a year which Nigerians were deported from Ghana? Can you tell me? The first batch of deportation of Nigerians in Ghana. Can you tell me in history? The first batch of deportations of Nigerians in Ghana. Can you tell me the second batch of Nigerians massively deported from Nigeria? Stupid boy, you only know of Ghana must go. How many people? One million people or two million, I don't know. Ask of the number of Nigerians who were deported. Ask and you will learn sense. Useless boy, you don't have food to eat. You are coming to do arm robbery in Ghana and ritual killings. And they are, they are not getting you. You, be, you, you. They will get you very soon. You, they will get you. You mark it on all. You'll be deported, but you could be jailed about five years before you go. You wait and see. You said, but you are telling, asking your superiors to tell you history. Have you, did you, did you do history in your school in Nigeria? How many people, how many Nigerians are in Ghanaian universities? If you had any good schools in Nigeria, what are you doing in Ghana? Hmm? You are mad for you, nothing. What have you achieved? Nigeria, what, tell me what Nigeria has achieved in, in your own history. Tell me, Ghana fought your independence and won for you. Ghana came in to stop your Biafra war. Okay, Ghana from, came in to, to stop your Biafra war. It was a Ghanaian who was selected, nominated to be the UN, UN Secretary General for the whole world. 
Kofi Annan was like, why didn't they choose Nigeria if Nigeria was to be a, a, any proper, sensible people? How many are you? 250 million. I was making competition and doing foolish things against 333 million. Are you not ashamed? Sometimes I keep asking myself, you are in Nigeria, you are in another people country, and you are busy insulting the country. You are in that country. I don't know why some of us Nigerians we are doing that thing. I don't really understand. You are in Ghana. You are insulting Ghana. You are insulting your generation. You are insulting everybody. And you are in that country. People say you are in your country. I don't even understand that thing. How many Ghanaians you see in Nigeria insulting, uh, insulting, uh, insulting Nigeria? Uh, you know even they, and if they even try and say, they go lost their life, you know. Even me, I did not know. Ghanaians, they know. If you are a Ghanaian and you come out boldly and you are in Nigeria, that means you don't like your safety. You come out boldly, say you are insulting Nigeria in Nigeria, that means you don't like your life. I'm telling you. You people know. And again, you Nigerian coming, you know that this is what you can do to somebody in Nigeria. And you are Nigeria now, you are in Ghana and you are doing this. It's wrong. It's wrong. But oh, it's hitting you. Because when you renew it, people will listen to you, make you, you are doing that. And the worst thing you are this guy thinks they will know now. Because he put, um, um, how do you call it? Uh, nose mask. Oh, we'll bring you out. Me, I know, say they will arrest you. I mean, they talk out. I'm not lying. I know, say they will arrest you. God bless everybody. My name is Master Manager Nigerian. Um, if you want to reach out to me, look at my bio. Bye bye for now. I'm a Ghana diabo. I'm a Ghana diabo. What the about Bija? Nini na ni sen? Na na yabo esi ama eke lole pep. I'm a hunter din din ya min kebi. Me pesa me trust me. Ye bi mu de kaya epo ni epo hu ye disi ko. Ente me kachu asa ama Ghana diabo. Busa me se di en wo diabo. We do walk South Africa straight and walk off fire the sun. Who draw the abba? Walk off fire the sun. Who draw the abba? You are the to me and say yes. Mama, mama, fa, 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 me, mama, fa, me, mama, fa, 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 fa. Say, say, mu es ni na tuwa ye den echa. And I'm a Ghana. And I feel sure we could do problem. Kidri kum kwa fong kwa kitin kitin kidri kum omo amagana di anuwe dry ye de abba. I feel so so the person me can diabetes. Is it your yadi? You know any yadi ni na any papa? Is it your yadi? I'm crying ni na any. Is it your yadi? Can I do na campaign phone ni na any? Is it your crying ni na any? Amagana si sa yadi akesi. Any yadi we em kwa? Oh yadi sa who do be brebe? Who how be a da wo swa oni pebi emu biya? Amagana si bra. Obesa wo yadi. Bamo di na friend number na yadi. Je <laughs> I'm a Ghana, 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 i Koko buti mu pie, uja na na koko buwe pie no pa. Chama gana me druke siya ba ku pa. En shono no. Ba mo di na fe no ba na e chebu skri na se no. Ya di bi e ha u bi ya. From a pampem ebe si u nasi. Ama gana na di e. E we a did na be shi e wo men. Ya ya le se ni na chwa e de e shak.